All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Real, The Ratchet, and The Reckless. It's your girl, Nessa Nan. You know how we do. I am so excited. We got the one and only Yodis in the motherfucking building. <laughs> this is where I press my button. Oh. Brr, 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 brr. What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? Great, great. great. How you doing? Good. I really appreciate you guys coming all the way over here. I know that you guys come all the way. One of you said LAX. Right, and right. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm a little closer. So yeah. I, was, I appreciate you guys coming down and actually keeping your word. So I appreciate you guys actually pulling up. Shout out to sure. Onse. I, I know. How do you guys know him? Oh, oh yeah, Onse. Like, is it once or is it Onse? I thought his name was Onse this whole time. Uh, how we meet him at a video shoot with Cypress Moreno. Right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Cypress Moreno is a man yeah. right now. Yeah, he's he's doing his thing for sure. For sure. We that's got some what's shit up. with him. Oh, really? Coming yeah. up or already? Uh, we got like one song out, but we got like a little five piecer. With, okay. with his beats, yeah. That's what's up. I like to keep it very conversational, and the fact that you guys are Latino, I think, is also really important to like just For put on sure. the platform like that, just because we don't see many of us up there like that. And I think it's time 100%. to represent, and you guys are doing a great job yeah, at that. Thank, Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, right. really, we were talking about it in the car ride. We're just like, bro, like, there isn't many of us, and it's not corny. Yeah. Like, I usually feel like when they rep Latinos in music or in movies, like, it's, it's always right. whack. It's yeah. always weird, and it don't feel right. right. So shout out to y'all for just yeah. making it feel right. I think there's a few of us that are doing it right. I think that we're at the forefront of it. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying, it's just the people got to get behind it. But there's a few of us doing it, but a lot of it is still kind of whack, but yeah right. <laughs> we'll sure. get there we'll get yeah, there no this is why y'all gonna lead the way yeah, this exactly. is why y'all gonna lead the way um i did want to dive into i know the last time we talked you guys mentioned that you guys did grow up in the south bay area and mm -hmm. i think that's pretty fucking dope because la is so it has so many cities and areas but it's so small like south mm -hmm. bay literally like 12 minutes away from me right For sure. um so tell me a little bit about that because i know that you guys have mentioned in your past uh interviews that like south, like who you got where you guys grew up is kind of who you are and i feel like sometimes people have an issue with that but it's like i always say we are a product of our environment mm -hmm. so it's like Talk a little bit about that influence, maybe, like how South Bay really is who y'all are. Shit. Well, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, South sure. Bay is like, because you got the hood, then you got the middle ground, then you got the beach. So it's like a, a mixed pot of things because it goes from like literally Inglewood to the beach and like seven minutes yeah yeah yeah. so it's like with traffic uh 30 minutes yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but you grow up around like blacks latinos mm -hmm. and whites and asians because it's like it's I'm all there far. pretty much um so early on we were born when we were born it was like in lennox for the first few years went to like moffitt elementary and shit and then we moved to mexico and then we fucking landed mm -hmm. in fucking hawthorne um and then yeah been in Hawthorne for the most part and then we used to work in Inglewood on Century and Myrtle for like seven years just like chopping like cutting hair so we we tapped in with Inglewood big time just because we we pretty much spent most of our time there um nice. like at early from 18 to like you know what I'm saying 24 or 25 or whatever we were in Inglewood a lot so we just all over the South Bay so we just you know I feel that how long were you guys in Mexico for Cause I know you went young, no? Pretty young, yeah. I was like six. Yeah. You guys were no. you guys went together? Five, like they say, y'all was being bad. Cause usually like Latino parents do that when y'all being nah. bad. <laughs> they like uh, the women that are Mexico. My pops was being bad, probably. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, shout <laughs> out to daddies. Yeah. Nah, he, nah, we all moved out there. The Who's out oh, there together. Like, what, two years? Yeah, oh, nice, nice, nice. There. How was that? From what I remember, we didn't like it because most of our family was out here, like our cousins and shit mm. that we like hanging out with and. When it first it's started, it, it was something different, you know. Yeah. But we got used to it while we, we stayed out there. We even went to school out there for like oh shit, shit half, half of the year. I think half of my kindergarten year, I was sure. it was in Mexico, Mazatlan. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Oh, know, cool. So I remember shit. We liked it at first, man. We thought like it was a long vacation, a prolonged vacation. Yeah, you're like, yeah, we going yeah. home. Yeah, 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 we going home. Like, and it was crazy out there. The school, like the teachers were whoop. Whoop your house about to say I was like, oh shit, they're not playing out here like, it was crazy. like i remember a kid got his ass beat so bad i was like oh hell oh no, my I'm god like, so, i would have I told on her like that yo, <laughs> right this bitch just beat she my like, ass get you your ass get too her boy her <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah that's crazy that. yeah they don't but play being in mexico like we got to see that like we're mexican but to mexicans we're not mexican enough and then over here, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Two Mexicans. So was, uh -huh. that's always been a thing. Like, not Mexican enough for, for the Mexicans and then two Mexican for other people. So it's like this middle ground of fucking 
that were gray area gray that dude. Were, yeah for sure yeah. especially in rap but like, even like this that you guys were small because you came at six and you got you in mexico and they're like what the fuck are these little mexican kids like you know yeah. you already because even when we go miss i'm from mexican and salvadorian so yeah. even when i go to like mexico like they kind of like already know they kind of see you not less but it's like you're not really from here or like yeah. they'll make fun of how we talk or how we look yeah. already yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you coming back to la and you were just in mexico exactly. when you were already in la exactly. that is a big change so it's like kind of you've I, I kind of see that. When I came back to the schools here, I think in sixth grade, I came back to school. Oh, that's here. already they, pretty big. Yeah, they put me in, uh, I think I, well, finished middle fifth, school. I finished fifth grade in Moffitt. Mm. Um, and then I went to Dana. Mm. And then because we came from Mexico, they put me in all the ESL classes. Like, mm-hmm, they thought I was just mm-hmm, a Mexican mm-hmm, kid. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to speak English. Nah, I wasn't there. They ESL is the shit, though. <laughs> that's the kid with the silver tea. Y'all had silver tea? Nah, I nah. Th- this motherfucker. <laughs> I know he looked bad. They, they was like, nah, he belongs in this class. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with race. I was there for race. like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for like two weeks, and then the teacher was like, I don't know why you're in here. And then I was like, me neither, but Yeah. Shit. I um, think it's when you put like Spanish speaking at home or something like that. Like yeah. your language is Spanish, they just toss you. Yeah, probably. That's why. Well, that's because he was like antisocial in school. From what sure. I remember, he was like the artistic kid. Oh, that, that's what's like, up. Did art and you know yeah. what I'm saying, very observant. Yeah. Me, I was the opposite. You're older. I had all the friends. The older kid. I was yeah. loud. This fool been That's also about to ask. I was like, going to ask if y'all was popular. Like, what kind of kids were you guys? Yeah, as soon as I came popular. out the womb, I was popular. Like, uh-huh. her family came to see me. <laughs> When he was, born, he was all mad. Like, like, who the fuck this new kid? When he was born, nah, like was, nobody showed up to the hospital. Brother. I've nah, always been. Very it's because the first ones are kind of an accident. Like, were you planned? I was a second. I was I'm probably the accident. Oh, you're middle child. Oh, yeah, you're special. Yeah, but yeah, middle child. I've never had the the like uh, desire to make friends because I was like, I, I had my cousins, my brother. They were, they, were, they were my friends, so I didn't really give a fuck. Like, and I never really fit in. I was always cool with girls. Like, so I always got girls. And for some reason, it stirred up beef. Even as a little kid, like, I probably got in my first fight in, like, first grade or kindergarten. Like, I've been fighting Like, he gave my girl a cookie. Like. <laughs> we just friends. And I just, my early, my first memory of friendship, I remember I had one friend in mm-hmm. my face. His name was Eric. And then they Shout turned Eric. him. <laughs> but they turned him against me. So then, and I had to fight He him. was never your friend. Yeah, so he then that was, friend. like, my first introduction of oh, friendship. So I never man. really valued it. Damn, you know that's deep? Yeah. Like, I have friends that, like. Cause a lot of girls don't get along, but yeah. I always flex my my friendship. Well, at least my my friendship, because I think I believe I'm a good friend, which I am. Um, and I'm always there for my friends, and it's like all of them have always shared. Like, it's just the shit I've been through, the backstab yeah. I've gotten, like since at a young age, like the shit they would do to me. It's like I never got to experience that. But a lot of people go through shady shit at such a young age, and that kind of determines like how you gonna see people. Yeah, I was you know? bullied and shit, but the difference is I would fight, so it's like. It didn't really get to me because one probably always got like the female attention, so I didn't feel like, like oh I'm a fucking loser. I just I was just fight like ah right, you gonna fuck with me then we gonna fight. Yeah. And I just stayed away from people because I had my friends at home. That's how I saw it, which was yeah. like, my brother and my cousins and shit. Yeah. So even as an adult, like somehow I became cool. Like I remember in like tenth grade out of nowhere, like. I just became popular. I don't know how. <laughs> It'd be like that. Like, but and then I just, I noticed what I could do. Like as far as like. Um, I already knew I could get girls, but then once I hit that stage, I was like, oh, shit, like, I can do this. Like, I can really get <laughs> We'll get a little bit into that because that's for like, sure it comes with the it whole hype. my whole life, like, and I realized how people perceive you based on, like, just appearance because I got a little money. I started buying doper shit, and then all of a sudden, literally from night and day, I was just, like, a popular kid, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, it was weird to me, but... I just put on some dope kicks, a dope fit, and then all of a sudden I was like, You're like cool guy. Ta-da. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all my friends that's there are his friends or people I met. Oh, you guys have the same friends, like same group? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to jump over here, uh, what is it, Ricky, right? Yeah. Ricky Blanco. Uh, yeah. As a kid, did you were you always very outspoken? Because right now you're the quietest, so I'm like. I know it kind of just switched, but I don't, I don't know what it was. As a kid, yeah, like I was the one that was like good at sports. And mm. I, I what'd you play? Most of friends. Or played, your favorite, like, at least. I played soccer. I played basketball, baseball. Naturally good at everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But when it came to like the art stuff, it was more on his side. Mm. Um, but when it came to rap, it was more on my side. Uh, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah we're competitive like that. Uh, it's just like natural. That's a brother, you know, like thing, a brother thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Dang. Oh yeah. I mean, 
I, I, I speak a lot when I'm like comfortable, you know what I mean? When yeah, I get comfortable, I you. you get to know you. me, then, you know, I get to open up a little bit more. I think, yeah, I kind of noticed that from you guys' interview. Right. I was looking at two. I got to see the one with 92.3, and I got to see the one with, is it E-Zone? Mm-hmm. Is that his name? Yeah. Oh, I can, I'll put the correct. Oh, but yeah. I really like that interview. One? Oh, the one, yeah, with DJ, DJ Head. Head and, yeah. And, and I can like tell. Care. Yeah, and I love the one with that guy, the Latino guy. He's Saudi, I think. Like, oh, well, it's on oh, YouTube. Right. I don't know. You guys already have a bunch. But the oh, ones yeah. I found on YouTube with the most, it was that 92.3 and then this other guy. Yeah. But um, I can tell the difference. Like, back right, to right. what you're saying. Like, it's body language, right? Right. And it's also, like, you talking or not straight answers or you're vibing. And I think just shout out to certain people. Like, yuck, I, I respect that because it's like. You don't just fuck with anybody. I feel like that mm-hmm. that is really yeah. important in the industry too. It's like people be so hyped for clout and shit like that that yeah. they will ha 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 in your face and be all this and it's like no, no, yeah, I'm okay, you know? So I respect we, that because I can a, tell. We have a problem with <laughs> Like nah. we're, off, we're off putting almost like really. I think with Sometimes other artists, y'all just being protective about your space and energy. That's I feel. what it is. Yeah. Like, I really don't with fuck with too artists, many people. Though. Like I just sit back and watch people and uh-huh. let them do them unravel, and then I kind of decide like, all right, you're worthy enough for me to just open up and call you like a homie or get that's to know me type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or if we're drunk, then you'll get us more. If we're drunk, we talk to everybody like, <laughs> hey. well, what's on list? All right, right. I hate that. I'd be like, that that's wasn't so, me. Bitch, that yeah, wasn't me. Sometimes it's embarrassing. We did oh, one I one happens to the yeah. everybody though. Trust me. We just had a show too. It was a fucking disaster. But he just told now me. in hindsight, <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. So funny. Do you guys ever Man, balance? Our shit. Do you guys ever balance like the drinking? Like I know when I go out with my sis, I kind of get like mom mode. I'm like, okay, I can't get that drunk. But y'all both just get fucked up. Not usually. Like if he's getting toasty, like I'm always on defense. Again, it probably Same. just goes back to like. Yeah. Fighting all the time, like <laughs> so, I just start peeping the scene, and then mm-hmm. like, like he's getting drunk, so I'ma just chill, just to observe. But that night, all that shit went out the window. I mean, we had a lot of friends there. We were pretty deep. Where was this at? Was deep. We was looking Catch fly one. as fuck. We yeah. was like, mm-hmm. "Fuck it, some rock star up. shit." Some rock star shit. I was wearing these boots I never wore in my <laughs> life. I had some gator albino gator boots. Yeah, They're like straight up high heels and shit. Are you and I was serious? on stage like slipping. The next day he I had like a boy. We felt like I, seven I, times. I, I, Are I, you I, fucking? I would have paid to see this shit. <laughs> shit was hilarious. Oh, that's it's, the real ratchet shit. Now, the bruises. When yeah. I wake up, I'm like, where the fuck did these bruises come from? Yeah, it was yeah. fucking terrible, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it is what it is. Yeah, it shit. Is sure. It is what it is. That crowd wasn't yeah. ready for us, man. We was on 150. Are you fucking we came serious? In, yeah. Came in hot. We were on some rock really shit, bro. That's cool. Fuck that. It is what it is. A more regular crowd. So it was like, I know how is that yeah. like to actually n- now you Usually guys even we mentioned know how that. to read the crowd. Yeah, I was gonna say it's mean? a thing. But that day we were so fucked up. We got these dark ass shades on, like we couldn't see nothing, <laughs> yeah. and we just didn't look at nobody. We just came in Dude, screaming, and fucking trying to mosh pit and shit, and everybody was like, "Yo, we're kicking it." Yeah, like, fuck that. It's because we went to Europe and over there, like they no. were mosh pitting it was mando like we came out and they were mosh pitting so we in our head we're like ah we just did this yeah we gonna pick up where we left off and it didn't work and we didn't adjust because we were too fucking lit and we were kind of on some probably like man fuck this shit like this is what we do anyway like y'all gonna see what the fuck it is what it is yeah like that's the real that's what y'all really are when y'all get lit (laughs) i think that's the beauty is accepting that shit that was the idea but then when we started fucking over our lyrics yeah yeah. i was like you know what y'all i was kind of like y'all win i'm at (laughs) y'all right (laughs) because i I was literally about to throw the microphone like fuck this shit i think i did actually i I I threw it it at the dj Oh, it's because the mics were fucking up yeah. so oh. it started off like that like my mm. mic wasn't working so i was like what the fuck so off top like the energy was was weird the tone yeah the tone wasn't yeah. set right and then i slipped through a fucking crack and i'm like fuck <laughs> I, I thought it was my shades i took them off and i slipped again you still got the, the bruise like, yeah. yeah he just she's showed not, she's not healing all the way it's not healing, <laughs> healing. Yeah. hey as we get older shit just take a little longer to heal but, i'm like but, why my knees still hurt from I last week this. like we made an impression i saw a lot of the dudes last night fucking and they're like for real y'all were the only rock stars there and that's that's the truth like yeah we, we were, Facts, we're, we're Mando, like superstars no one's gonna forget that like yeah. regardless if y'all thought it was a hot mess it's like y'all y'all remember that like no Some one's gonna forget that folks. yeah no one's gonna forget that with fucking wrestling belts but <laughs> i love that shit though <laughs> damn i wish i would have seen this because it's like it, we, we're entertainers yeah bro. yeah and yes. sometimes 
Um, people don't want to be entertained, I guess. Nah, nah. They always watching, even if they yeah. not. People just always watching. But yeah. the feedback was actually decent besides us being all over the place. I think they expected more because they know we bar out. So they're probably expecting us to just like go up there, bar the fuck out, and bounce. But we were up there trying to have you know, fun, entertain. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and, I, and that's what I see like all over your Instagram. That is what it is. Like, you got yeah. yes, I love that, and I know that you <clears throat> mentioned that he behind it, the whole creativity, and then you execute, which yeah. is a good fucking balance. But like yeah. you said, you were more artsy, but you like also you feel like you always being. I feel like I can be creative and I will be creating shit in my head. Like, how is yeah. that for you as a creative? I feel like I have good ideas. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I just like come up with them, and then he'll just he'll take it and dunk it you know what i mean so it's kind of it kind of works out because i'll just have an idea and brush it off like that Mm -hmm. you know and that's that that's where it stays he's gonna take it and like set up a camera guy and all this stuff i know we're talking about your visuals i love that buy the wardrobes buy the like so i'll have good ideas too but i notice he's like his idea is just like it seems like we'll just be like, oh, what should we do? Oh, we should do this. And I'll be like, damn, that's a good idea. And then we'll just really start diving in and fucking trying to dissect it. And most of our videos is like our ideas all the way. Even sometimes they sound weird. Like, did you see the one where I'm like a mad scientist or not? Nah? No. That the one, one I just <laughs> saw, the last one was uh, the the bouncer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. why? It is so, that is so relatable. That is so yeah, true. Like, they, so. we always talk about, like, why are they always taking a job a little too motherfucking serious? Like, they can't wait to get their hands on you or something. Yeah. I've or had tell a vendetta you. towards ba- bouncers, like, all my life, man. They yeah. always yeah. pick on me for some yeah, reason. Same. So, it was kind of easy for us to act like, to act. like <laughs> nah, you're not getting in. Like, man, That's nah. just hilarious. And okay. it's the stupidest shit, because yeah. I feel like, not no shade, but shade, like, security i feel like i see it like cops sometimes like there was those kids no one like and now they're the cop and and i feel like that was security yeah that's where security is like ain't nobody was talking to you but now you're just trying to talk trying to fuck my day up because ain't nobody was talking to you years ago like or they were the cool kids and now they just a bouncer at the fucking club so they mad they mad yeah it's like man it's not my fault that you a bouncer dog like and no respect the bouncer shit no yeah like on your shit do your shit right but no reason to be extra negative yeah rude yeah that was a commercial role we got hired to do Oh, so that was like a commercial. Oh, yeah, it was the, you guys were promoting something in the. Plug and play, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Plug and Play. Yes, that's what's us. up. Uh, keep paying the bills. <laughs> That's what's up. I love it. Yeah. Uh, are you did mention like what the fuck y'all was wearing the other day? Like I was looking at all of you guys' outfit, like what you guys wear, mm-hmm. and it's like it's easy to just be like, okay, like what who inspires you? What inspires those outfits? But it's like sometimes as crazy as y'all shit looks, it looks good. Yeah. So it's like how does that come forth? Mm-hmm. Like for it to actually look good because it looked crazy, but it looked good. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I don't know, you guys have a stylist well, or y'all style your own shit. Y'all don't have a stylist. Well, I don't mm-hmm. know. That's what's uh, up. Most part, shit, I got take- homies that are fly though, and they know what's up. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Marco. That was uh, that day. I think I was wearing Marco's shirt. It was like a vintage Versace shirt. Oh, the and day at the the festival. At the oh, festival, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But as far as the stylist, hell no, nah, man. We just always been fly. For sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but that's the day of the show, the disaster show. I mean, wrestling. The disaster. That's what we're gonna call it. The, the disaster, disaster show. Yeah. Fucking. I don't know, man. I take inspiration from the weirdest places, and lately, like wrestling, been inspiring me. Just run with it. Run with it. They're like show nerd. Yeah. I just like how they're, they're like super entertainers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just take all that shit and like just bundle it up. Like, um, and they used to dress fly too. Some of them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. just like entertain, be loud, be fucking. I don't know. It's entertaining. That's fun, though. That makes what you do fun. And yeah. it makes you stand out, I feel like. If you just keep it real on who you guys are. Yeah, we do music, but we also do this and we also do that. Like, it's so it's so important to just, like, <coughs> tell that to our people, too. Like, a lot of, you know, our people is, like, you do this. Or you go to school and you stick here and you make that a job. And you that's your income and you have kids and you create a family. Fuck but it's, man. like, nah. Like, we do a bunch of shit. And yeah. it's cool to always dive into those things and check in. Got to, got to. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. if you want to do the basic shit, fuck it. No pa- <laughs> more power to you, but shit. I yeah, don't know, I think man. the route we're taking is you got to kind of have a more entrepreneur mind state, yeah. hustler mind state, and just like creative, you know, use your ideas to to um get you paid, really. Not even get you paid, just do what you love. At the end of the day, the money will come. You know what I'm saying? You're doing it right. We, we got yeah, a special sure. guest. His name's Who's Flash Gotti. Oh, what up, dog? Special guest, Flash Gotti. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? What up? What the fuck you want, dog? Talking to the mic. 
Dang, is he serious? Yeah, okay. What happened? What you go to jail for? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dog. Uh, yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, it's so man, easy so to go to jail. I realized that as I got older, I'm like, oh, okay. For so real, we in here. Sure. <laughs> well, you gotta try to get checks wherever you can get them. Like, yeah. so I'm True. trying to get the acting checks. I'm trying to get all that shit. Yeah, why not? Directors, whatever. Why the fuck not? Yeah. All right, hey, cool. Yo. All right, so I did want to dive into a, Oh, no, I did want to check in with you with the hustling thing you said. Uh -huh. Just because I feel like sometimes Latinos, obviously, we don't come from a lot of money. Most of us don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, but I really feel like sometimes I could either make you or break you. Like, if you never came from money, you just feel like you ain't never going to be shit. Sometimes, like, fuck it. Like, my, this is my life. Like, there's no there's no drive. There's no hunger. But then yeah. you have p other Latinos that we grew up with nothing, and it's like the hunger's there. So it's mm -hmm. like, obviously, y'all hunger is there. And I don't know how, what, how you guys can, like, translate this to, like, the listeners. Like, because sometimes I feel like we lack motivation, especially we don't see it at home. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, we don't see this at home. We don't see entrepreneurship. Like, we'll see it maybe, like, little, but we don't know it's entrepreneurship. Like, yeah. all our hustlers, all our vendors, like, that's some hustle shit right there. For but sure, we yeah, don't know, sure. like, the logistics. We don't know the shit on paper. We don't come from money. We don't know that shit and shit we say. We got a trademark or, you know, yeah. shit like that. Like, yeah. what would you kind of, like, guys give mm -hmm. to our, our people when it comes to, like, finding that hustler, we, we really don't come from much and just Shit. know that there's a lot for us. Well, I think for us, like, my parents are hustlers. Like, all they do is fucking work to this day. Yeah. Like, and they've always figured out a way like that. We're mm -hmm. first generation, so my dad came here at, what, 15? I don't know what age, but with nothing. And he just figured it out. Like, mm -hmm. we, we weren't rich, but he wasn't a bum, and he's always been hustling. Like, he was literally hustling at one point and shit fucked up. But even my mom, like, working grave shift. Like, so I've seen my family hustle like just grind like work ethic so i think that's what kind of instilled in me personally but um mm -hmm. and even with a lot of our family like they're motherfuckers just we come from a family of people that fucking grind hard so maybe that instilled it in us i don't know no, for sure yeah. i feel like as a whole people you know we Mexican fucking grind, grind work hard yeah you know what i'm saying but well, I feel like you want to take it to the next level. Yeah. Right, and not that be that part. worker. Just settle, kind of. You know yeah, right? right? Kind of just, yeah, a lot of people just settle. Like, they just want their job and work. And, and if that benefits, works for you, that's yeah. cool. You know what I mean? But if you really want to take it to the next level and be a boss, you know, you got to take that dive and fucking be out there on your own. You know, it gets dark. It gets fucking hard. But yeah, yeah. you got to fucking keep going. Yeah. And you eventually you're gonna break through mm -hmm. keep knocking on doors one of them's gonna open for sure yeah. well yeah that's a problem it's sometimes people feel like they're gonna knock on your door like nah yeah, i used nah. to be like that like i used to feel like that like oh Entitled. no yeah no nah, that that ain't the word that, that's a bad it's a pretty bad I, that's I bad like, that can't be me uh, uh no but like i felt like oh i'm so this i'm so great maybe damn now that i don't do think I don't, yeah. like i'm this someone's gonna be like we need you like yeah. you need to be here but it's I, like then nobody did that like i had to go looking and it's like nobody's gonna know you who you are if you don't put yourself out there yeah and i said entitled because i feel like at a point in my life i was like that you know what i mean like i deserve this yeah they i need to be you. they like, need me i'm somebody right yeah but it's like then you gotta double back and be like wait hold up what what are you bringing to the table? Like now nah, you have exactly, to actually get up and, yep. and work for that shit. Like ain't nothing gonna fall on your lap. Exactly. You know? That's good to remind us. You can't listeners. trick the work. Like you yeah. can't you can't fucking trick it. Like if you put in the work, it has to happen. You know what I'm saying everyone that breaks through says it. Like they just didn't quit. Like, yeah, exactly. You hear it everywhere. Yeah, the mm -hmm. same people quit because the same thing to do is fucking quit because. It's this easy. It's hard. Yeah. It's just expensive, especially what we're trying yes. to do. Like, it's expensive. It's difficult. You put yourself out there for whatever, ridicule or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Your family probably being like, you know, like our parents would like us to take a safer route, probably. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But um, they don't fully understand, but nobody fully understands except us that are mm -hmm. really doing it. That are chasing. Mm -hmm. And shit, it comes Damn. with a share of fucking uh, shit, bullshit. For sure most of yeah. it is bullshit well yeah especially the industry y'all in especially as latinos like that's already like if we want to just to jump back to that like not feeling like oh i fit here i fit there and explaining yourself like i feel like sometimes when people ask or like you guys as people that like we're going to interview or people are going to interview guys like sometimes it's kind of like well what they're going to ask like what what like you know i don't know i would feel fucking annoyed at some point like not yeah. explaining yourself but i caught you i caught you guys in the videos like well because we dress like this or we look like this it's always an explanation or like do i like yeah. and i i it, it bothers me because if you're from LA like we don't got to explain yeah, like I don't right. know um I went to I was telling my my, my sister-in-law on the way over here 
I'm like, bro, like, I feel you on that because, like, I'm from, I grew up in South Central all my life. Yeah. Everywhere in South Central I live. Yeah. Now I live by the Coliseum. So it's like I'm a little further from, like, deep. But, like, I grew up in South Central, but I wasn't sent to the homeschools, right? So I went to a magnet school, and it was East L.A. And mm-hmm. East L.A. is not that fucking far from where I live. It's 15, yeah. 12 minutes. Yeah. But everybody was like, why you talk like that? Why yeah. you move like that? You trying to be black? Like, yeah. And I'm just like... Do I look black? Do I say I want to be? No, I love being Latina. Like, and I feel like I really fuck when y'all said that because it's I fuck with it. Like, people just always just waiting, like, cause they don't look like you, or you don't sound like them. Where are you from? Like, why do you why do you dress yeah. like that? Why is your hair like this? What? It's like the culture, and I don't know. I know y'all can relate, but it's like one person that reminds me of that is YG. Like, I'm a big YG fan. Yeah. A lot of people got offended with the go loco. Yeah. I personally did not get offended. YG did it correctly. That's why. And I'm like, but it's hard. and he's always like repping, like he's always talking about Latinos, like his style, like he is a product of his environment. Yeah, he's you not, know, he's not putting on a costume. Exactly, it's, it's him, and you could tell some people were putting on a costume. He wasn't. So yeah, like, like people in East LA was mad about that. Yeah, some people, and yeah. I'm just like, I don't get it. Like he grew up, he was probably at the quinceañeras, like invited to all the quinceañeras. Yeah. They eat on Sunday too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. a little vibe. Yeah. Um, so I really felt that and i feel like it's important to like also remind people like sometimes we don't gotta explain yeah. like it's just where we come from the and you know when it's authentic bro it yeah, was just they sure. don't know they just forget it now that uh, all on the yeah. internet is just young kids yeah, the older so, people so older people from both sides the black and Latino. and people are like hella sensitive too like, for sure you don't like this shit change it right exactly. <laughs> right so far, especially like, like simple. i don't know man we're doing hip-hop right so automatically it's a it's a black mm-hmm. sport. Say mm-hmm. what the fuck you want to say about it. It's a black sport. So they could easily be like, oh, well, why the fuck y'all doing it? So when we do it too much, I get it. Like if they're putting on a costume, yeah, that shit's whack. It's corny. I'm not offended by it, but that shit's just whack. And sometimes when like. And that's probably all they know from it, to be yeah, honest. Like exactly. shit. So. But when it YG it does is. it or Blueface does it or yeah. something, then everyone wants to be like, oh, this is fucking. Blah, blah, blah. It's like. It's whack. It's an outrage. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know the one whack, that offended me was that the Uno yeah. taco, and I was like, "Y'all not bumping this right now." Like y'all yeah. just saying random bunch of random taco Spanish words. That yeah. shit offended me so much, and people were really fucking with it. And ain't nobody saying shit. Everybody roast each other. Yeah, they just talk shit about each other. I like to make fun of myself before anyone else will. Because right? if you make fun of yourself, what the fuck are they gonna say? Like, I yeah. Don't know. So. Yeah, and it's like whatever you're about to say, I already know, bitch. People really exactly. be acting like you never looked in the mirror, like you like you don't know who you are. For sure, but it's just right. weird shit. I just feel like it's weird insecure people. I really don't give it no mind. But All black right. and brown, you know what I'm saying? We're on the right path, I think. No, for sure, for sure. And I feel like back to what you were saying too, like these young kids don't give a fuck. Exactly. Like, and just to dive into your music, and, and like I said, no shade, but it's like, um, how I grew up, like, I listen to hip-hop as well. My dad is, like, big fucking, he's a motherfucking young gangster. So, mm-hmm. like, I grew up listening to all that old-school hip-hop shit that I love and appreciate, you know? Um, but now, with music, I also feel like, like you said, like, you guys are doing hip-hop. And I feel like, just real shit, like, I don't think y'all doing it wrong. Like, mm-hmm. it flows. And we're talking about how it doesn't sound gimmicky. It doesn't sound corny. It doesn't, we were like, it don't sound truthy. Like, you know, like, usually you see people just try so hard to fit in that hip-hop lane that it's like, see, this is why they're talking shit about us. Exactly. Like, find your flow, find where you fit. But I feel like y'all shit is really natural and you have to respect it. Like, mm-hmm. and if you mad, you mad because I genuinely, like, fuck with y'all shit. They're and I really feel like it flows. It's good, it. yeah. And it's like, there's this whole... Uh, this whole narrative that oh they don't want to let Latinos in or they don't want it's like it's not yeah, that yeah. it's not good enough a lot of it's not good enough yeah. like and that's the fucking truth like because you see it well happen, yeah but you, it's good enough exactly and I think, well, like Snow the Product's doing a good job oh my god I love over. her I think we're gonna She's definitely a shit. collab we're gonna, I mean shit eventually maybe but I think we're gonna cross over I'm talking like yeah, breakthrough yeah, 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 and we're yeah. gonna get the respect from like real spitters and and keep the respect for our people, of course, because that's what we're representing. But we want to be uh, amongst the likes of like the Kendrick Lamars and the fucking the top dogs. I ain't trying to be will. cool for. I'm not trying to be a cool Mexican rapping like nah. I'm like one of the best. Period. Like that's how yeah. I really feel. Where you don't even have the same Mexican heart. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm one of the best. Period. Yeah. Like, like that last track we did, the deep covered song. The I don't think yet. too many people could have. I don't think anyone could have out rapped us. Maybe they could have hung with us and done equal, but I don't think they could have outwrapped us on that. Nobody on the planet. 
I really feel that way. I love it. I love how you guys bounce back from each other. We're listening to on the way over here. I just love how you just come. I feel like you're really straightforward. Like your flow, when I hear you, just like boom, boom, boom. And then I love his little ratchet shit. Like I love his yeah. little ratchet tone and his, your ratchet lyrics. Like I love yeah. that. Um, yeah. You guys are a good balance. Shout out, that, yeah. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Look at me looking at my nose. I never do this. I am feel so organized. <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> no, really, I'm such a hot mess. First time doing this. Why do people not ever believe that? It's like once upon a time it was I've their never first time. Done this before. <laughs> okay. I don't organize. That's a, that's real. Um, but yeah, I did want to ch- uh, touch in with you, Wapo. Um, your affirmations. I noticed in your interviews, like you you talk you talk a lot into existence, and I think that's really important. Like mm-hmm. your affirmations, I hear you. Like even now, he's just like, "We're gonna be the greatest." Like you can't fuck with us. Like we are gonna make it. We are gonna cross over. And I feel like people may not catch him, but you are like a lot of affirmations. I noticed, mm-hmm. oh. and I don't know if you just always been that way, or you just because I feel like I had to practice like. Oh, I'm. I want to do that. No, it's like, and people have to check me. Like, no, you're gonna do this. Like, I yeah. have to start talking like that. Like, you right, bitch. But like, I don't know if that's already always been like a natural thing for uh, you. Uh, kinda. Just because I've seen it like happen. Like, I've mm-hmm. seen stuff that I thought of or said or whatever, and it really happened. So it's like, oh shit. So um, I probably sound delusional a lot of times and. Sometimes I think I am, but no <laughs> shit. Though, if like, you believe it, we believe it. Like right. that's you how you become, gotta see you it. Really become your thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Like if you're 100%. thinking this is what you are, like chances are you're gonna really pursue it and go for it, exactly. and yeah. it's gonna come into fu- into fruition. Yeah. Whatever that word is. I like I like to listen. To <laughs> I don't like big words. I be like a yeah. lot of people that have made it. Like I, I'll listen to random people that just. I don't know, and they all have the same thing in common, and I don't think I say it because I'm trying to do that. I think I say it because I really cold-heartedly believe, believe it. Believe it, yeah. And I think um, it, I've seen it happen already, so I'm like, oh, shit, I'm, it's probably true. And it's like the, in the universe, or you and your kids, oh, asking you shall receive, or all these things that people Yeah, you've tell heard it everywhere. That we mm-hmm. think is probably just mystical shit that we say, but is it, or is it really based on some real shit? Yeah. Um, but... Most people probably can't get through it because they can't weather the storm. We've been weathering a storm for a long time, so the storm, I'm like, we're already comfortable in it because yeah, we've yeah, been yeah, living yeah. in it. So all this other shit is like, it's got, it's got to happen. Like, I know I'm not delusional because we walk into rooms, like big rooms, and people introduce us like geniuses and this, that, and the third. And I'm not talking about little local shit. I'm talking about Grammy Award, Platinum, yes. number one record motherfuckers, and they know what we're doing, even though the world hasn't caught on yet. So I know I'm not delusional. And we got signed with not having any music out, having yeah. probably 50 followers. We created Coyote within three, four months. We got interest of a lot of people. And it was like a little switch on the mind state. Like, I thought I was going hard before that, but I wasn't. I think we're finally going hard. And I think we got to go even harder, and it's, it's got to happen for sure. Yes. So, um, mm-hmm. so that was a big thing for me, the fact that we got signed without anything out, without yeah. proving anything, just by our skill set and our brand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that really triggered my mind, like, oh, shit, maybe I am onto something, like how I think. And what is it, quality um, over quantity? Like it wasn't yeah. you're following, it's like who you are, your value, mm-hmm. and what y'all do. Yeah, that's yeah, what's up. Exactly. That's so, what's yeah, I like to speak shit out. So shit, we're gonna be. I know you do it like all the time. I was noticing that in your interviews. I'm like, you always talking like that. Like we're that's, gonna that's win cool. a Grammy in the next. You said you're not. They said they canceled Coachella because we wasn't gonna be there exactly. because it, he's like because the next time we go be there. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm gonna be right I'm there. I'm gonna be by. like, welcome no everybody facts. at Coachella. Host the Coachella. Got to speak it into existence. Mm, yes, that's what's yeah. up. Remember my cut? Co- yeah, my cousin had told me if we went, and I was like, nah, next festival we gonna rock. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about the one with Ezon and fucking uh, Ezon. So it is his name. Good shit. Yeah, and and uh, Cairo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that was yeah. such oh, a good one. Yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to that them. was that was such homies. a good one. Yeah. All right. So at our last interview, the quick drunk one I had because I was drunk. Um, mm-hmm. I did listen to it, and I we talked about you guys' inspos, right? Yeah. And I think that was another thing we were talking about, like y'all really with the with the shits like we're back in the day, and I feel like that's why you guys know how hip hop, how much it weighs. Like we talked about the new rappers and upcoming, it's like they'll just post and it's all about Instagram, and if they get millions of views, whatever, right? But I feel like it loses the quality and appreciation that hip hop has ever had, you know. So again, shout out to you guys. Um, but obviously, I have Tupac and Biggie on here. I feel like it's an LA to sh- uh, LA thing to say, like, is it Biggie? Or is it Tupac? I'm gonna say Biggie, man. Yeah. I'd rather yeah. listen to Biggie. 
Yeah. But I feel like as an artist, Tupac was better. Exactly. But sonically, I'd rather bump Biggie. Yeah. Because it was that like, makes any mm, sense. like, it was we, more like, bo- like Boogie. I, I mm. put Ready to Die better than any Tupac album, but Tupac has more powerful songs. Like the yeah, Motion they songs. just hit different. Tupac, like you said, was a better artist, but Biggie was probably a better rapper. If we're just talking about just rap. Yeah. But yeah. artistically. Tupac. And outside of music, like Tupac would have fucking... Mm-hmm. Been the president or some exactly. shit, right? Yeah, yeah. that shit is just crazy. Like a crazy motivational speaker, yeah. just like a powerful yeah, a poet. Voice. Yeah. For sure, Tupac yeah, is more I than love an artist. Tupac. He's way more than an artist. So, because of that, you kind of give the edge to Pac. But if I had to listen to one versus the other, I'll probably listen to Biggie. Really? That's mm-hmm. crazy. That's crazy. I I love Tupac. Yeah. Like, I just really yeah. be acting like I'm Tupac. Like, yeah. I feel like I've been through everything he said. No, yeah, but I have family all, members. That's spirit animal. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I just, how I grew up in my in my uncles and my my dad, like, that's all I ever heard. And it's just relatable because I lived it, but I was so little, but I, that's all I ever heard. Yeah. So yeah. I love Tupac. He's, he's great. Yeah. We grew up a lot of East Coast influence. Oh, really? For sure. That's why ah. we can rap our ass well, off. Well, yeah, you said, isn't Nas from the East Coast? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of West Coast artists that can rap their ass off, too. Ice Cube, I fuck with him. He was my first favorite rapper, Ice Cube. And then Exhibit's underrated, I think. Yes. Um, Kendrick Lamar, he's one of the goats. Mm-hmm. He's a newer guy, but shit. That's what's up. All right, uh, so we you did. I know Snow, Snow the, pro, the the product came up, but any other collabs you guys would want to speak into existence? Like who y'all really see yourselves collabing with or want to collab with? Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Cardi B. Cardi B. Yeah. Hey, Cardi or Meg. Cardi. Cardi. Cardi yes, so I can see Cardi. that. I don't know. I was gonna say YG. I really do want to see a collab with YG so, and y'all. Like yeah, I think no, that shit would be mad ratchet. Like I, I would know, love man, that shit. No. That shit, shit be so like LA. Anything. Like so LA. We would it. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I, yeah, Cardi B, Kendrick, those are two good ones. Like, Adult, Drake. Yeah, well, yeah. But I feel, I get bored of him. Think I'm like, so? okay, Drake, we know. And so you I feel like he's talking to you. I'm like, turn this shit off. Yeah. What is he saying? <laughs> Fuck. He's, he's figured it out. He figured he's it out. He's cool. Yeah, like he found his little, like, niche. Like, he found where he fit in and he got in. Like, that's how I feel about Drake. His niche is almost everything, though. Yeah. Because I try to tell people, like, man, I'm like a student of hip hop. Like, I dissect lyrics like real rap down to like just pop or whatever catchy music, and he could really do everything. He could do real rap. He could do he's got hit it. records. He's, he yeah, do. he's Drake. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did. We were listening to uh, Yeah Yeah with Blueface on the way here, mm-hmm. which was really fucking catchy. And I didn't even know that was there. Like I ran into it on YouTube while looking for your interviews. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, How know. was that working with Blueface? It was cool, man. Like you know, it's, it's, we're all under the same umbrella. Yeah. You know, so his family, and I think he had just got off of a rolling out stage and then popped in the studio, oh, knocked shit. it out in like fucking less than thirty minutes, probably yeah. pretty exactly. quick. Um, heard the record, it was banger. So yes. With it. Yeah. And how was that? Yeah. So that was pretty organic for sure. How long does it take you guys to like create this kind of shit, like music? Does it really t- like for us that don't know what it be like in the studio? He like me to write to yeah yeah that yeah. night because he had made it and I was like oh shit this is this is something, and then I was like I'm gonna write to it tomorrow. He's like nah you're gonna write to it now, and I was like fuck it was late as fuck. I think I have a video because before Blueface got on it I was like this is a record like I know yeah. when we make a record yeah. versus just something that's cool. Um, and you pretty much forced me to write it, but I don't know, man. I'm a very inspired type of person. If I'm uninspired, I don't even try. Mm, mm-hmm. I feel that. Like if it's not in your heart or your mind, yeah, not in yeah. it. Yeah, sometimes a lot of songs come out. Sometimes nothing comes out. Yeah. yeah. I just trash. try not to force it. Yeah. If it's not happening, I just walk out. Fuck it. I'm yeah. Not no, yeah. Out. It's like writer's block sometimes. Yeah. It's like if it's not happening no, and like you sure. can't force it or... It won't I'll, come out sometimes right. Sometimes, though, like, if I can't find anything, I'll just try to freestyle. Like, I'll literally just press record, and then I'll just start rapping, and then I try to find a melody, at least, or the pattern. And once I find a pattern, then it's easier to fill in the words. So That's I'll do so that crazy. when I have writer's block nowadays. And a lot of times now with people in a studio, a lot of people don't write. They just jump in the booth. So if you're making Punch a in. song with somebody, that- it's like, fuck, well, I'm... I'm not about to not do that, so I just hop in there too sometimes and just line Flow. by line kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. see, I don't do that. I need to do that more often. I'm gonna try to say, "All right, send it." Yeah, <laughs> I, can, 
I get back to it. I think, it. yeah, no, also, um, you guys mentioned that in another interview where it's kind of like you're always on it. Like, it was so funny. He called me, like, I literally fucking 758. And I'm like, I had a feeling this would happen. And then he's like, my brother's just a little behind. Like, you're like always on it. And your brother's just like, yeah, uh huh, like, easy going. Sometimes I'm a little too nonchalant for my own good. Yeah, yeah. That, you probably get it but frustrated. It's not irritated, good. It's, frustrated. I got him to kind of, you know, remind you. Yeah, yeah. keep me on, on track. On. Yeah. But then sometimes I got to tell him, chill, chill. Yeah. It's, it's like, nah. This reminds me of like my sibling. Like, nah, I'm always like go. on my sister. She's like, it's not that serious. I'm like, but it is. But it really is. <laughs> I just yeah. have like a sense of urgency. On yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Same. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little segment to just close this little. It's, it's I just created this segment today. It uh, kind of inspired me, so the name might change, but thanks to y'all, it inspired it. Did you, what's your favorite song you heard from us so far? Hood Rat. Hood Rat. Yeah. Yes, Ooh. relatable, I relatable. Know, relatable. <laughs> well, I love, I love the video. I'm a video person. Like I watch yeah. almost. I'm like, you saw that video? They're like, who watches videos, Vanessa? I'm like, I do. I watch videos me still. Too. Yeah. Um, but Hood Rat. Hood Rat was. It felt at home. It felt like it could have been shot in, on my block. Like For I sure. told you, was it primas, homegirls? Like you were. It was a little yes. bit of that. It's like a kickback. It's like a regular, literally, like the piñata. Obviously, if it was like somebody's birthday, but other than that, like that's really hard. Kickbacks be like yeah. with primos and primas. Sure. Like, I love the song Hunter, yeah, and my uncle great. literally put me on. Oh really? Yeah, I told Shout you guys to that him. day. He's like, um, "There's this song that I think you would really like." He's always sending me shit like to like yeah. for content. And it was it was Hudrat, and I didn't find that out until I met you guys, right? Because yeah. I looked you guys up, and I'm like, oh shit! Because I oh, looked up all the artists. Before you knew yeah, it. I heard. Yeah, and I oh, I was like, oh, I gotta like you know the artist that threw the roof fest. Yeah. And then I, I text my uncle like, you won't believe who who about to fucking be there. I'm yeah. like, good rat. Like he's yeah. like, oh my god, you better not fuck this up. What I do, I fucked it up. Like yeah, I didn't get got, it. He's like, huh? Yeah, we, yeah, we got a better song than that too. Like, yeah, we got too short crazy. on it. This is too short. Gonna world. go on the remix. Yeah. Really? What? Yeah. Are you he's fucking serious? It, yeah, sure. yeah, it's gonna be that. That's that record. <laughs> that's gonna go platinum. I, that, I think that's yeah, too rat, fucking rat short, bro. Well. Yeah, hood rat. Yes, hood rat is like, uh, do y'all not hear this shit? Like. Yeah, it I went love. top 40 rhythmic charts. I mean, yeah, that's oh, nice. Charts. Coming from yeah, none. Yeah. The, was it our Fuck first, Your Wall? Fuck The Wall? Song. That was good. Yeah, that was cool. That was gimmicky kind of. No, but I liked it. Hood Rat got a sign, though. That record. Oh, really? I knew when we made it. Like, oh, shit. This is going to be good. Yeah. The video is so good. I hate that good. song now, but Why is I annoying? It. Yeah. it. Well, yeah. It's uh, like it's when I play back podcasts, I'm like, shut up, bitch. Yeah. It's <laughs> just one of those things. I'm like, ah, fuck that song. No, it's cool though. Yeah, it, no, it's relatable. It's I'm really relatable. I'm glad that people like it. I'm glad yeah. you like it. Yeah. All right. So this new segment that I came up with today that y'all inspired because I was like, okay, I gotta throw it in. I gotta make it, you know, a little interesting. Yeah. But I think this is pretty cool because I'm all about music and lyrics, and I love, you know, one of my favorites is Meg Thee Stallion. She's not yeah. on here today, but I love her lyrics. Yeah. And sometimes I ask myself, like, bitch, I don't really be doing what I be singing. So yeah. this this segment was sing it, claim it. So if you singing it, bitch, you better claim it. All right. Oh, so you guys lyrics. mentioned, huh? <laughs> It's our lyrics right there? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you guys mentioned G-Unit was like an inspiration, right? Uh, and one yeah. of my favorite G-Unit song is I Want to Get to Know You. Yeah. So I got the quote. <laughs> I'm visualizing my name tattooed on that ass, baby. Is that something you guys are into? Or your girl get it? Because I feel like it's a lot of Latino things sometimes. Like, why everybody got to get it? Like, why my mama got my daddy's name tatted? Like, why is this a thing? Is that something you guys are into? And if so, where would y'all want your girl to get your name tatted? Or if you're not, nah. Mm, right on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Smack yeah. down. Right That's the toxic the shit right there. Like, you better go out every day, walk around I'm, with my name on your forehead. I'm not, like, into it, but I'm not against it. Like, if she wants yeah, to exactly. get my name tatted, I'm like, yeah, A lot of guys for. press for that, though. Usually nah, girls are not like, oh, I'm going to get your name. They're usually like, get my name tatted. And it's like, nah. nah. I'm not that type of guy. Ah, I good. I like having uh, my girl go through whatever the fuck she wants. And I vice versa. So. so I like... Being an individual, I would never force no one to get tatted with my fucking. Wow, head. I'm proud. Uh, you I see? Mean, that's weird. You weird? No, he says uh, you want nah, on the forehead. Same, 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 same. He's right. never that serious. Of, yeah. All right, so yeah, hood rat. This is you, uh, Ricky, doing tricks on a dance floor. I can't be mad because I'm really just a fan though, and I really respected that that little lyric right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't even remember saying that. Yes. Yeah, so you're on the little <laughs> where they're riding the bull, and he's like, "Dude, you doing nah, tricks on that yeah. dance floor? I can't be mad because I'm really yeah, just, just a fan, fan though. though. Uh, like yeah, I really yeah. love that, and I think that kind of shows what you guys just answered. Like y'all not that type of guy to be mad at your girl, like. Yeah, yeah, to be sure. fucking it up. Yeah. Was that ever an issue if your girl be fucking it up on a table at the club? 
Yeah, for I sure. Mean, I mean, if it's my girl, I'm going to tell her, get your ass down. What the <laughs> fuck? You're embarrassing the shit out of me. God damn it. For sure. <laughs> There's like a line, right? Well, it's okay, like, boundaries, boundaries. Yeah, like you can have fun. I don't care if you twerking. If you mm-hmm. shit, you want to make out with your homegirl, I don't give a fuck. But like they don't fucking be too extra and make me look dumb. But um, I think he was more referring to like strippers. Like, hey, do you think? Yeah, exactly. Like he's it. just a fan. Like yeah. at the end of the day, you don't judge. So nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So just to tie that, I, I had would you guys ever date a stripper? E. Yeah. I think like on some serious shit. Like you actually, you know, what is it? Acon type shit. Like is it Acon or T Pain? I fall in love with a stripper. I mean, I'm in love with a stripper. I've never been in that situation, so I don't know. But I would like to think, shit, maybe if I fuck with her. Um, I would probably try to talk her. I feel like if you met that person like that and you already yeah. knew before you got into it, like, exactly. it's really, you can't be mad at it. But, like, if you already got with this person and then they became a stripper, then nah. it's kind of like, nah, that is a little weird. Now you're though. somebody I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay, okay, like, okay. Who okay, the okay. fuck is this? Like, so, y'all would be open to it, though. That's cool, right? If, like you Date said, a stripper? If we met them like that, then I'm, uh, yeah. Shit. I'm going to plead the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you meet someone like that, that's like a porn star. Like if you met him, a porn star. Like damn, that was. I feel like that's even wor- not worse, but that's even tough. I, I think I'd rather date a porn even star than, than a stripper. Than a stripper? Because hey, at least they're For real? going all the way. <laughs> <laughs> like are you gonna be a hoe? Fuck it, be a hoe. Like get paid big bucks to be a hoe. Then fuck it. I feel that. Wow, yeah. look at this. No discriminating around here. Yeah. I love it. I'm married, though, so that's all the question. Oh, that's what's up. That's a nice little fucking wedding band. Yeah, you know. Like yes. All right, married so dude. I see I have Ty Dolla Sign Paranoid. I've seen two of my bitches at the club. Has that ever happened to y'all? In the yes. past, because you, you married. <laughs> yeah, I used to invite two uh, the same girls to the same party on purpose. Mm-hmm. Okay, Toxico. So That's I'm, it. I thought I thought I was I was I was right about you that you weren't. When I'm single, I'm very like reckless. Yeah, and I, but I'm honest though for the most part. So what was so what was the point of bringing them it. together? Oh uh, shit, just a flex. I don't know. I was just like, yeah. They don't cause drama. Nah. You telling everybody? Oh, about okay. It. Uh, um, okay. They didn't. They didn't. They kind of asked about each other. Like, <laughs> Where's she by her hair at? I, was I like her like, nose. Oh, it's nothing. I'm tripping. Um, but nah, it was cool. So yeah, I've done that before. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> interesting, interesting. All right, y'all. Nah, that's my past, so I'm not afraid of it. No, that's right. Yeah, like sometimes it's like, no, I gotta always, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when my girl met me, man, I was, I was honest. I think honest. Place. Yeah, well, a fun be. place. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, it's like it, it is what it is. Back in the day, like honestly, like. Cause when I made this shit, real ratchet and reckless, I was still on my ratchet shit. And then now that I got a little older, cause I'm already, I'm gonna be 28 soon, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, bitch, the yeah. fuck, like you know, yeah. I, I'm kind of like, it's pretty young, but like still, like I, it, I wasn't as, wi- I'm not as wild as yeah, I used to be, course, and yeah. it created like a lot of drama, like with boyfriends or the, yeah. all of them, like yeah, yeah, them sure. seeing each other, and I'm just like, look, we yeah. was on a break, and right. then like you know what I'm saying, it did cause a lot of drama, um, but like sure. you said, it's my past, like I don't regret it. I was young, like when we young, we do stupid ass shit, Boy. and. Dream Drinking, like those crazy nights where we drink, and I'm just like, what the fuck was I doing? Damn, I've stood on almost everything. I've stood on tables. I climbed things. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've had a lot of those. <laughs> and probably going to have a, a lot more. A lot sure. more, right? We just got to be safe, true. guys. We got to be safe, y'all. Nah, for sure, COVID for sure. coming back in. That comes with this life, man, the fucking drinking and all that bullshit. I know. It's very unhealthy life. But I know. Fun. That's why you yeah. have your water. Well, you didn't bring no water yeah. today. <laughs> it's fun We got to drink fun. our water. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, do y'all feel like there's something y'all want to add that y'all didn't get to add or want to tell people what's to come mm. for the Yodis? Man, a whole lot of Yodi Yodi shit to come. A whole lot of more music. Yeah. Uh, We're going to be outside a lot more. We're going to have a lot more mm-hmm. shows or concerts, yeah. all that, man. And we're just going to keep climbing, really. Yeah. It's going to get better and better. This time next year, shit. Platinum. There it is. There it goes. Yeah. The but king we're gonna be at LA of Festival. manifestation. Yeah. We met the LA Fest. You gonna go? When is it? Oh, uh, I, 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 you haven't heard about it? No. The LA Festival? It was no, see, everywhere. sometimes I feel like I don't be doing my homework too much. You're like, you don't know? I'm LA. like, no. Oh, that's by my house. I'm gonna be watching yeah. from my balcony. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm like right high. there on the corner, but um, I didn't get I didn't get tickets, but I was telling them I'm like, bro, it's at the Coliseum. Like everybody about to get in. Like we all yeah. about to get in. But y'all gonna perform? Yeah, we don't I know. didn't know that because I usually go to LBC, which is like uh, the same lineup usually. Right, right, yeah. So same I'm thing. like, I already seen all of those artists, but it's gonna hit different because we right, y'all gonna be right there on King. Like yeah. that's King Boulevard. So yeah, yeah we're there. Shit. All right, we're gonna drop a video probably next week um, to promote. It's in when video, December? No, music. Um, yeah, in December. But yeah. we're just gonna drop at least a video a month, maybe more. Like um, those little those, those clips you guys are doing. No, music videos. Oh, much. music, music video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And little clips in between. I know. Like I like those. Those are yeah, fucking yeah, fun. Yeah, those are cool yeah. to watch. Thanks, yeah. More content and shit. Yeah. So we yeah. just keep at it. Shit. Keep All at right. it. That, well, I appreciate you guys again for just being in this space and sharing for what sure. y'all shared, right? Yeah, sure. um, but y'all already know what the fuck it is. Let them know where they can find y'all, the listeners, the viewers. Let them know what's up. Coyote for hire. Yo, coyote, coyote for, hire. for hire. All across shit. the board. Shit. Period. You know That's what what's saying? up. All right. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. It's your girl, Ness Hernandez. Don't forget to let your mama know, your tia know, and your abuelita know that the real, the ratchet, and reckless is where the fuck is at. We signing out. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh.